Have you ever pondered over the intricate tapestry that makes up our individual identities? How does one define gender, sex, and sexual orientation? Is it as simple as ticking boxes or is there more to it? Take a moment to consider this. A student wishes to be identified as a boy, yet their mother insists, my daughter is a girl. Or a young boy who enjoys playing with dolls, constantly questioned by his peers. Or the sensitive lad who is not into sports and is prematurely labeled as gay by the adults around him. These instances reveal a profound misunderstanding about the complex nature of gender, sex, and sexual orientation. Without a comprehensive understanding of these concepts, young individuals are left to grapple with these challenging situations alone. Blogger Nasser Fleming in his post, I'm an 18-year-old boy who wears blue nail polish, get over it, captures this sentiment perfectly. He states, Enforced gender roles do not only affect those who break them, but also those who give their blood, sweat, and health just to fit in with them. Consider the harrowing experiences of a transgender student who dehydrates themselves to avoid using the girl's bathroom, or the student on the brink of dropping out due to relentless verbal or physical abuse about their perceived sexual orientation. The key hurdle in creating fully inclusive environments is the presumption that sex, gender, and sexual orientation fit neatly into a binary model. This binary world categorizes people into rigid categories, male or female, gay or straight, thereby conflating biology, gender expression, gender identity, and sexual orientation. Our educational institutions have a history of reinforcing binary perceptions of sex and gender. From the moment children are registered for school, they are boxed into male or female categories. Schools are filled with expectations about what kind of play, dress-up behavior and future aspirations are appropriate for whom. If the goal is true inclusivity, we need to move beyond binaries and foster practices that embrace the diverse spectrum of biological sex, gender identity, gender expression, and sexual orientation. Biological sex, for example, refers to a person's anatomy, physical attributes such as external sex organs, sex chromosomes, and internal reproductive structures. While most people's physical attributes align with the traditional understanding of male or female, intersex conditions also naturally occur in all species, including humans. In essence, the delicate web of identity is far more complex than a simple binary system. It's a rich spectrum of individual experiences and expressions. The challenge and the opportunity lie in understanding, embracing, and respecting this diversity. The first step is to educate oneself and others, as knowledge is the key to understanding. Remember, the complexity of gender, sex, and sexual orientation is not a problem to be solved, but a reality to be understood.